An herb is a plant or plant part used for its scent, flavor, or therapeutic properties. Herbal medicines are one type of dietary supplement. They are sold as tablets, capsules, powders, teas, extracts, and fresh or dried plants. People use herbal medicines to try to maintain or improve their health. In this video I will share to you 10 herbal medicines that are approved by the Department of Health through its traditional health program. But before that don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated to our new video. herbal medicines that are approved by the Department of Health through its traditional health program. Number 1. Lagandi. It is one of the 10 herbal medicines endorsed by the Philippine Department of Health as an effective herbal medicine with proven therapeutic value. Studies have shown that Lagandi can prevent the body's production of leukotrienes, which are released during an asthma attack. Number 2. Alesa Mangbato. It is a small herb that grows from 1 to 1 and 1 half feet. Panzit panzitin can be found wild on lightly shaded and damp areas such as nooks, walls, yards and even roofs. Panzit panzitin has heart-shaped leaves, succulent stems with tiny flowers on a spike. This is a very popular traditional medication for gout as this herbal plant contains analgesic properties. Number 3. Guava. Biabas or guava is a tropical plant, which is locally known for its edible fruit. In the backyards of Filipino homes in the country, this plant is commonly seen and grown because of its many uses as fruit and as traditional remedy to treat various ailments. Number 4. Bawang. This herb is one of the most widely used herbal medicines in the Philippines and can also be found commonly in the kitchen of Filipino households as it is used to spice up food preparations. The Philippines bawang or garlic variety is more pungent than the imported ones. Number 5. Yerbabuna. Yerbabuna has been consumed for centuries as tea and herbal medicine as a pain reliever, analgesic. Native American Indians used it even before the white men colonized the Americas. Today, this folk medicine's efficacy has been validated by scientific research. In the Philippines, Yerbabuna is one of the 10 herbs endorsed by the Department of Health DO, as an effective alternative medicine for aches and pains. Number 6. Simbang. Sabang is an amazing medical plant. Coming from the family of Composita, it goes by several names locally. It is known in the Visayas as Bucate Cade and as Subsuit in Ilocos. This plant possesses a multitude of properties that make it worthy of the due approval. Number 7. Acapulco. Acapulco is a shrub found throughout the Philippines. It is known under various names in different regions in the country. Common names, Catanda and Tagalog and Atasi in Ilocano, Palo China in Basaya. Ringworm bush, seven golden candlesticks and by Abbas by Abbasan. Number 8. Nyagna Yogan. Nyagna Yogan is found in forest margins at low altitude, in gardens and backyards. Native to Asian tropics and throughout Malaysian region, with common names of Torit or Aok in Tagalog, Balutidham in Basaya, Rangoon Creeper. Chinese honeysuckle, Lian Vermifuge. Number 9. Sangubat. Sangubat is a shrub that grows abundantly in the Philippines. In folkloric medicine, the leaves has been used as a disinfectant wash during childbirth, as cure for diarrhea, as tea for general good heath and because Sangubat has high fluoride content, it is used as a mouth gurgle for preventing tooth decay. Number 10. Ampelaya. Ampelaya has been for used even by the Chinese for centuries. The effectively of Ampelaya as an herbal medicine has been tried and tested by many research clinics and laboratories worldwide. 
In the Philippines, the Department of Health has endorsed Impalaya as an alternative medicine to help alleviate various ailments. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated to our new video.